Uh, Professor Lin, one trillion government bond, that's something we haven't seen for quite some time. Uh, we see that pretty often during China's days when planned economy was pretty much in the play. Are we going back to the tools of planned economy, central planned economy? I think we need to understand the state or the government and the market is not an either or. or. The governments and the, the market always need to you know, function organically in any situation. Even in a normal time, we need to have a market competition and we also need to have the government to play facilitation role. But this competition certainly has to, you know, contingent on the economic situation. Currently, because of the shock from the pandemic and uh, mm. the market demand is insufficient and the government need to do more. And as I mentioned, it's not only the Chinese government, other governments in the world, they take a similar, you know, measures. And with the special bonds, because you know, the local governments, they face tension or they, you know, difficulties or challenges in protecting the households, protecting the small medium sized enterprises, because those measures would be better to be carried out by the law labor governments. But they don't have the fund. So these special bonds, you know, about one trillion the Chinese Yuan is mainly you know, targeting for supporting the local governments to carry out this emergent job in this situation. So I think it is not a return to the planning economy. Otherwise, if you took about, if you, you know, see the measures that have been taken by the government in other countries, for example, U.S. already, you know, proposed more than 10 percent of their GDP, and Germany similarly. Japan even proposed about 20 percent of their GDP to supporting their, you know, economies. And uh, if you take that as a measure of returning to planning economy, then I think mm. that their, you know, measure has been much larger and. Uh, but, you know, I do not see any discussion about the U.S. economy go to the planning economy, the Japanese economy going back to planning economy. So we should not treat this kind of major ideologically. We need to see what right. are the economic challenges and what would be the best way to cope with the challenges. And uh, under current situation, we need to get a government to help. Otherwise, the market cannot function well.